my son and I went and picked up the Inatab 3S today. This, uh, this Inatab 3 joins the ranks of my other ones, the 1, 2, and 3. This is the 3S. We decided to get the 3S because it is different. It has the uh, thumb, thumb pad and the um, buttons on the side with the camera at the top. Instead of holding it in a portrait way, it wants you to hold it in landscape. Anyway, I'm going to open this up. So it comes in this little plastic case, just like the uh, earlier generations do. It has the cartridge that's only good for the 3S. And let's see, it has the Inatab 3S. And uh, you immediately see the Wi Fi connection down here because that's what this one's kind of known for. Home button in the bottom, middle, volume down, volume up, microphone, some kind of button for the games. Power button and a question mark and the D-pad over here on the left. So, let's see. The 3S, like I said, the 3S has the camera at the top and no extra little game button on it. It just has the pad down here at the bottom. And the pad is actually new with the 3 because the 2 doesn't even have a pad. It just has the home button. So, this one, like I said, this one is designed for uh, port or, uh, landscape orientation. Has the camera up here at the top so it can flip over and do that. So the back of it, and also the back, they put the batteries on the on the sides instead of the, the top and bottom here, which is also different. And these this uses the same Inatab 3 style of battery covers, which is really nice because the two and the one were always breaking. But it still uses the uh, four AA batteries, which I still have these. If you watched my earlier video, I suggested buying these, and these have actually turned out to be a good investment because these are the same ones I bought in that video. And I think they're going on about three years old now, which is pretty incredible. The Kodak batteries, I think these were $8 with the charger. They might have gone up since then. You have to get the right battery door or it won't go on. It would be nice if they made those the same so you could use they're interchangeable. Oh, and I got little pads on the inside of the battery door now right here. You can kind of see the little pads there that are there there must be there to help hold the batteries in place a little bit. So let's see what this does. There it goes. Well, it's definitely not winning any speed contests. And... Oh yeah, the other funny thing is, the Inatab 3 still asks me what the date is. Asks me to set the date every time I turn it on. Oh, one game is good enough. Please type in your name. D S. Oh my gosh, the touch screen is really good on this compared to the two. If you remember in the, in the tab one video, if you, if you remember that far back, the in the tab one was terrible. It wouldn't even recognize my fingers. It, and then somebody said it's probably supposed to be supposed to be for uh, younger kids. Oh yeah, look at that. Here we go. Picture of the camera. Press OK to use the OK. Good enough. And... Is it still on? Oh yeah, there it is. Check in media data, please wait. <laughs> Hello! Ask your parents to register this tablet on Learning Lodge first. Nice. Okay, so now it looks like once this connects to your computer, then you might be able to do more stuff. Okay. All right, good enough. Oh my gosh, the touch screen is really nice on this one compared to the other ones. I'm just, the other ones I had such a hard time getting it to go. Anyway, let's look at the settings in here. Settings. We'll see what version of software is on here. Hmm. 
This must not have been adapted for the 3S to have it sideways. About. About. 34.30629. Oh, good trial version. Good trial version. <laughs> when hooked this up to the computer, it'll probably download a new okay. version. I don't know why they always say trial version. It's kind of odd. Anyway, yeah, they didn't adapt the settings for the Intab 3S home button. All right, back to the rest of the packaging. It has, it actually comes with more stuff. It has the uh, USB cable and the lanyard, just like normal. Except they only gave you one, unless there's one in here. Oh yeah, there's one in here. So they did, they gave you two. The original orange one and an extra white one. Then they also have this in here. I, I didn't even open this up yet. Hey, look at this. And a tab 3S. Comes with rechargeable batteries. Look at that, rechargeable batteries. And a charger. Awesome. I don't think it even said that on the packaging. Did it say it on here? Let's see, it says four gigabyte included. The memory. No, it doesn't say anything about the batteries on here. Oh, here it is. Rechargeable battery pack and AC adapter included. Oh, nice. So forget the forget the charger, the rechargeable batteries. It comes with its own. Nice. I didn't even know that. Shut this off. See you again soon. That's good. I should have checked in there. Should have checked in there a little bit ago. Well, that definitely makes it a lot better deal. Because this one, this is $100 at the store, whereas the other, the Inatab 3 is coming in at 70 bucks right now, $69.99. Good, and they work. So I got the uh, charger plugged in to an extension cord, and the power outlet is right here. Let's see if I plug it in, what happens. Will it even fit in there? Oh, it goes at an angle. I don't see any, any indication that it's actually charging. That's kind of disappointing. Huh. But I do see there's a Wi-Fi indicator up here in the corner. And right now it says there is no Wi-Fi. But anyway, neat. Comes with the charger and the recharger. Or the charger. Comes with a charger and the ba rechargeable batteries. I will do some uh, more pre messing with this and tell you guys what I think of it and do some other uh, reviews. And I uh, also have some new software to give away. It is uh, provided by WinX DVD and it's a, vi it's a video converter. And it's, it's, it's a charge, but I got some free licenses to give away and I'll be uh, talking about that in another video. Thanks for watching and leave some comments.